Hi everybody, uh, today I'm time for a, a sort of unique twist, well I think it's really unique, I've never seen anybody else doing it like it. Uh, unique twist on the, the gurgler. It's this uh, uh, completely snag proof weedless gurgler. Um, you can see there the hook's concealed. But, it, but the, the foam moves away pretty easily on a strike. It's great. I mean, you, they don't last very long. I know the most durable, but they catch you fish that you probably wouldn't catch without such a weedless, a weedless fly, because you can really throw it into anything. Um, so I'm starting off with a one out. Wide gate offset wood uh, worm hook. Now you can choose whatever brand you like. And <clears throat> I've got to start some thread just in this short section. Um, look, from the eye, it's on before the first kink. Tie in a bunch of bucktail, choosing white, got a wee bit of the brown in there, but I don't really care. Just take it, take the worst of it. Right, so just quickly lash that in. And trim the box. Read the other head cement on the box. Then I'm going to add some flash. I'm just using polar flash, but you can use anything you like. Um, Obviously, depending on the colours, uh, I'm going to mostly be targeting bass and, and hopefully some snakehead with this. Um, so I'm just I'm just going to sort of white bait fish colour, but you can adjust it. I'll be tying some up in like red and sort of frog. Well, the frog the frog part and they'll tie in a slightly different shape as well, but it's basically the same, just different shape foam. So I've tied the I've tied the polar flash in. So they're sticking out a fair bit longer than the bucktail, maybe about half an inch or so. And I'm just folding it back to lock it in place. Build up a nice neat base for my foam. I'll just sort of make sure the ends of this are kind of uneven. If you make sure the ends of your foam are uneven, they never clump together. Eh, foam. The ends of your flash are uneven and never clumps together in the water. If you cut it straight, they can sometimes sort of, oops, they can sometimes sort of like stick in the water. But if they're uneven, they, they always sort of breathe separately, like they can flap around each other. So, to make this a gurgler, I've got a piece of foam. You can see it's. I've cut, I've cut it and tapered it at the back, and I've taken a slit at the middle. Just even that up a wee bit. And you want your foam to be like twice the length of the, the, the overall hook because you've got to fold it back. And then just uh, come in and line it up so that the the hook point is. What I like to do is I sort of put it in and I'll 
as, as far back as I can go that the, the hook point can still come through the slit right that I've cut and then just take a loose wrap to sort of put it in place and that kicks it up a wee bit make sure it's sitting as you like and don't worry too much about the shape at this stage turns in front and then back over just to help lock it in place there we go then just as any gurgler fold the foam forward and then back to make the sort of popping lip And then leave this. I just leave this tag because it helps to sort of screen any weed um, that comes over as you pop and spliff it. And then just. Oops. Need to that piece. There we go. Pull the foam back. and then whip finish in front and that's the tie in done right, and at the moment it looks like a bit of a mess just put two whips in just for a bit of security although these don't last long these flies uh, at all right so at this stage I like to come in with a bit of head cement just on the uh, super glue, just on the thread wraps, just to secure everything. And then give it a wee pull and a push just to sort of get the foam sitting the way I like. Don't worry about the bucktail and that at the moment, that's, you know, you'll deal with that. Um, so, now we can stick on an eye. Oh, I sort of wonder how how much difference the eye makes on this fly. When well, it's all obscured by weed and stuff. And just sort of push the bucktail up against the foam and come in and so you can get the eye in and stick it right and in order to sort of keep everything in shape and um in place and, and, and to help with the, like maintaining the weedless nature of the fly. You want to come in with some clear cure goo flex. Sort of coat the eye and the bucktail around, around that area. And don't worry about what it tries to do when you let go of it. It will sort of make a kind of a mess. Um, and then 
basically sort of position it. I sit in the way you want. Just make sure it's make sure the hooks the hooks just hidden by the foam, just obscured by the foam at that angle. Then zap it. I've done a great job of that. Just a touch more glue, a much a touch more um, flex. I'm not, I'm not overly happy with what I've got here. It can take a bit of messing about until you get it just right. Um, but when you get used to tying them, it's, it's. Uh, It's not bad. That's better. So, basically, to finish off. Get some super glue. I lift this. And stick it there, stick the stick the foam back down in itself. Swipe this red at the front. Although this is kind of optional. Swipe the red at the front of the popper. And to prevent any yellowing, you can clean the flex with the alcohol. I'll just come in with some new varnish. Just seal it all in. And that's it, basically. That's the foam, weedless foam gurgler. It is absolutely weedless, you know, it's like, it's, you can throw it into absolutely anything, you know, and it just comes through. Um, so, if you're fishing slop, weeds, milfoil, anything like that for bass, or I mean, I suppose if you're fishing for pike, but you'd get through a lot of them. Any, any, any fish that lives in amongst weeds, or snaggy areas, and takes a popper. This is a great, a great addition to your box. So I hope you tie some up. I hope you catch some fish in them. Um, I hope you like that. If you did or if you didn't, leave a comment below, let me know what you think, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot guys, bye.